last warm up set. job of making sure I got all the way down even if I kind of had to pause. Did a good job of not kind of caving in and but of course it's a fight for me. but it won't pop. It's become a problem the last few weeks. It's just causing me to be like this, where, oh, my legs are fine, but I'm going to fall over. I'm going to fall over. utterly easy down there for my legs. It's just my positioning. You can deadlift 530 pounds. This isn't a lot of weight to push up. The reason I'm stuck is like, I'm wider, you tell you know, I'm deaf, but it all isn't hard. Like I should be where I can just be like this upright. Like because then it's all it feels like it's not my back having to lift hundreds of pounds anymore. Here's what my practice squats with the jump look like. It really is the fact that I can't keep my, I can't get my knees far enough apart to stay upright as I go down. So I'll do my best here. knees apart and not fall forward. That was better than many of the others were. And you can see my massive vertical leaf there. One more so-called jump. I think my knees went way far forward, which is why this last one looks so much better than at the 
So for me, this is Y. That's hard to see, but I'll. There, I leaned. I came, my knees came forward, but now I'm fighting to go back, and I'm falling backwards. Ah! I'm, in order to get down, I'm, I, my weight comes all the way up, and I'm falling backwards, so I have to jump back as I come up. Whereas, this is exaggerated, but this. This is my natural way to crouch down, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that to be this wide and not to come all the way forward is what's limiting me. Oh! Sorry for the sound effects, but it's that hard. <laughs> 